Need for Speed Unbound Money. Today's video is just that, how you can make masses amounts of money in Need for Speed Unbound. But it is actually a little bit different to how it's been previously. I'm sure I don't need to explain it if you've played, but essentially there is no money or progression crossover bit of a lie between single player and multiplayer so multiplayer well let's be real that's where we're gonna be after you've done the story there's no point in doing the single player we're talking specifically online which is definitely a lot more difficult to get money but i figured it out jumping into number one this can you can you see there are certain cars that when you unlock them you unlock them in both multiplayer and single player so you unlock them via doing the single player campaign and pretty much if you beat the campaign you'll end up with a whole bunch of other cars we found out that these cars well you can actually sell them in either single player or multiplayer and it will not sell the one in single player or multiplayer if you unlock it in the campaign you get it in the multiplayer. So to get these cars, as I said, just play through the campaign and basically whenever you get the chance to unlock a car, make sure you take that chance. So as you progress through the campaign, you'll see some events on the calendar that show a high heat symbol in a triangle. They're a little bit expensive sometimes to unlock, but you still unlock the car, which you could sell afterwards, which gives you more money. Essentially, unlock the car, sell the car, big money in either single player or multiplayer. Well, actually, if you'd sold it in both, it would be and multiplayer. That's the beauty is that they're desynced once you unlock them, but it's a super good way to either unlock cars and have a car for each class or sell them and get money. Which then brings us on to point number two, buy the M3 GTR. I don't want to sit here and say this car is overpowered because that is not true. This thing is not one of the fastest cars but in S+, Plus, that seems to be the most popular race type that people seem to do. So a lot more people join, which means if you win or even if you lose, you get a heck of a lot of money per event or per speed list. The M3 is a fantastic car. It's actually probably one of the easiest to maneuver and drive. You can, he says he smashes to a wall. But that's not the only way you can get money with the M3 in Need for Speed Online. And again, the reason as to why it's so important to have a fast car from the go, which if you beat the campaign, you could use ASAP Rocky's car instead. If you're wondering how the hell do I even get the M3? Well, that's actually quite a simple thing to do. I'll have a link down below in the description on how to do it fully and more about the m3 but basically you need to buy ea play so how do you make money with your m3 or other car once you've got a faster vehicle well there are a couple of options for you to make money and i find the best way especially if you've got a quick car is doing speed zones and activities now this is something i still do right now it's mega lucrative and the faster your car the better and even if you don't have that fast a car they're kind of fun to do i've never really bothered to do them before so you can switch the map to show you specific events i find the easiest are usually the speed traps speed zones the drift zones i've not even touched yet but i will get to those and of course the jumps are also quite easy but again, the faster your car, which if you got the M3 or ASAP Rocky's car, well, you're probably going to be laughing. It's it's quite easy. For example, let's not uh, do a run up. Let's jump straight into this one. Uh, yes, yes, I'm in the Regera, but you already know if you've got an M3, you should be fine as well. I don't know what the speed is, but essentially I'll break it down for you. As you can see, that's a big chunk of money. You can get yourself up to five and a half thousand or so if you complete those. And just to give you some math, if you are doing a speed list with not many people, you're essentially looking at about 20, 25 grand in three races. So if you've not done many of the speed trap, speed zones or collectibles, highly suggest you get on it because it's super easy money, instant $250. Again, not a huge amount of money, but if you want some easy, easy, quick money, it's probably the best way. Here's a long jump, for example, and you can see I didn't actually fully complete that yet. So there's more money to be made. So if you do it in stages, if you don't quite make the full amount, the full distance, you get another chance later on and you will get some extra money for fully completing it. Because it's not even a worry. I smash these every time now with this car. And you'll find that's the case with pretty much any topped out car. So get topping out or buying the M3, or unlocking ASAP Rocky's 190E. Next up, you think I'm probably going to say something obvious like, do races. <laughs> no. What I'm going to say instead is level up. 
Now, this might sound really dumb, but if you're an early beginner on the game, I say early beginner on the game, they're likely going to increase the amount of these over time. But if you look at any of these based on rank, look at this 20 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand. I am level 87 currently, and I just got $350,000 for leveling up just just leveling up that's it unfortunately this does stop as soon as you get to level 99 you're not gonna make any more but that big half a mil is screaming man that i'm so ready but think about all the money that piles up every time you do one of these and of course how do you level up that's a, another part of the question there uh, well that would lead us on to the next point which is speed lists jump into speed list as often as you can the s plus ones tend to give you the most money which is obvious considering the fact that well more people also want to join those they're the fast ones people do like their speedy cars essentially pick your fastest car and even if you don't win you're guaranteed money and xp which you need to unlock levels and of course going up levels gives you those bonus bits of money too this is ultimately the way you're going to make most money in this game most of your time is going to be spent doing these speed lists and essentially, if you do as well as you possibly can, you're going to make money. But what I'm going to say to you is this is probably the most important part about the speed list. Do not quit. This is mega, mega important because if you quit, you get nothing. If you quit in the second race because you're not winning, it makes no sense whatsoever. You are literally throwing away all of your progress for no reason whatsoever. Even if you hit, la even if you hit, last place in a speed list you're still guaranteed like 10, 20 000, which the more of them the more money and you'll also be leveling up at the same time which again gives you that other bonus reward oh my i made everyone except the second guy dnf <laughs> this car is stupid and that's another video i'll link in the description this is the fastest car in the game in case you don't know and you need to see it in action in that video think about a regera or some other op car being in your lobby as a way that you don't even have to finish the damn speed list you could just press the accelerator every now and again and make sure you don't get kicked or something then, then you're done <laughs> beautiful how in the bejesus is everyone 4500 yards behind this car it's stupid basically work towards this car and you complete the speed list faster <laughs> everyone dnf everyone dnf <laughs> there you go so twenty-two thousand five hundred plus the multiplier is 31 grand but again even if you were last place it's still 10 grand leaving means you get nothing so why bother now as i usually do in these videos i want to mention of course if you want people to do speed lists with well I've, the community is here make sure you join our discord link down below in the description but also leave your ea psn or xbox live id down below in the comments i'll leave a comment down below with a format of how we lay it out but essentially people can then find you add you and you putting your name there says that people can add you that's this is how we do it. But yeah, hopefully that helps you guys find some people to play with and ultimately get some money. So soon I'm going to be doing a video on the multiplayer itself, the state of it, the issues, the positives, the negatives. There's a heck of a lot to talk about, including the emission of cops and what things we actually want to see. This is going to be super important going forward because we actually have a developer that's still alive over the launch of this game. Hopefully I'm going to... Yep. So it's up to us to create the future for what this game is going to look like. And I tell you, it's going to need quite a bit of stuff. So once again, make sure to list your player names down below in the description. I'll create a post myself to show you the format, just to make it a little bit easier for people to control F and find you. But thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you get loads of money and hopefully I'll see you all in Regera soon. Because then the real skill battle happens. Smash like, subscribe and peace.